Hey howdy, hey y'all, Leanna here. Today's video is my update for the Happy Hour Project Pan. It is a Pantastic Ladies Collab panning project. It was created by Danny from Danny's Makeup and Deb B. I will have both of their channels linked down in the description below along with all of the information about this panning project, the dates, the links to sign up because it's never too late jumping where you are. Let's get right into it. In my last update I decided to roll in the rest of the prompts because I seem to do better if I roll them all in and then just work on them throughout the year. So I rolled in all of the rest of the prompts so I am currently working on 24 products for this project. The first one that I rolled in was for the prompt cocktail shaker, and that's something you have to shake before use, and that would be this Avant Hyaluronic, Hyaluronic, the name is so long, Marigold, type of something, 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 it is a biphase hyaluronic acid rejuvenating micellar water and I put this in to finish as you can see I'm right there I am right there I have used this 26 times and I'm right there and I will be so happy when it's gone because I do not like this these Avant products are extremely expensive and I absolutely would not purchase this because you have to shake it it has like a oil in it and I know that that's to help like with waterproof makeup and those types of things but it makes my skin feel so oily and I already have oily skin I do not like it definitely definitely would not purchase the next product that I rolled in is this Daisy by Marc Jacobs and this was for the prompt sex on the beach which is beach or summer themed. And the only thing that I can guess is I figured daisies were summer themed. And I rolled this in for 10 uses and I have used it once. <laughs> Even though I really like it, but there are some other perfumes and other projects that I'm working on. So hopefully by the next update, the next update, I will get my uses in. And speaking of other perfumes that I am trying to finish for the prompt last call, which is an item that is almost finished, I have this perfume by Shakira. It is called Elixir, and I have used it seven times. And as you can see, we're getting there, y'all. It's almost done. It's, it's okay. Eh, it's okay. For the Prompt Cheers, a product in glass packaging, I picked this Nemat, Nemat, Nemat. <laughs> One day, y'all, I'm going to grow up and learn how to pronounce all this stuff, I promise. This is a beautiful fragrance oil. This is sandalwood. Sandalwood is one of my all-time favorite fragrances. And I have this in for 10 uses, and I have only used it three. I have not used it since the last update. For the prompt craft beer, an item from an indie brand, I rolled in this Sydney Grace fragrance oil. This is Moonlit Meadow, and you can see there's a whole lot missing, but that's because I do not like a roller ball. This isn't a roller ball and I just I don't know I don't like roller balls. So Andy from Andy Does Stuff suggested that I put it in a are these called diffusers? It's in here and this I was not sure if this is gonna work. This is an empty scent box and it works Fabulously, fabulously. I have used this two times. That's how well it works. I've only used it two times. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. 
for the prompt trivia night an item that relates to pop culture and that is credited to Elaine Scamardella. I picked the ColourPop The Child palette. Such a pretty little palette. Love using this. I had not used it in a while. And I put this in for No Pan Left Behind and there is No Pan Left Behind. So this pretty little palette will be rolling out. For the prompt designated driver, a water themed palette, a water themed island item, I promise y'all I have not been drinking. I rolled in the Melt Cosmetics Bad Side Zodiac water palette and I have this in for 10 uses and I have used it six times and I was unsure about this palette but I love it. The color story is really really nice and I was able to create some very nice looks with this for work. I am enjoying this palette. For the prompt daiquiri. The next prompt is daiquiri. A fruit themed item, name, packaging, or scent so I rolled in this Burt Bees Orange Blossom and Pistachio Lip Butter and I rolled this in for 30 uses and I have used it five times and it really is a very nice lip butter. You can see I have a nice little dent and it smells so good. Really, really like this product. The next prompt is Friends in Low Places by Garth Brooks, a product you want to break up with, and that is credited to Lena7623. And so I picked this Burt Bees Lip Shimmer in Peony. <laughs> I cannot tell you how much I dislike this product, and normally, if I don't like something, I'm not going to force myself to use it. <clears throat> but in the interest of being funny, because this looks terrible on me, what did I put this in for? <clears throat> Ten uses. I have used it five times, but I'm telling you, it just, I mean, it's a shimmery lip balm, and it is not my shade. Not my shade. Not my shade. It looks terrible on me. It, it, makes me look all washed out and I don't know, I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> I'll be glad when the other five uses are done so that I can declutter that puppy like that. <laughs> the next product, the next prompt is champagne, a product that you save for special occasions. And I rolled in this Juvia's Place The Perfect Red Lipstick to use five times and I've only used it once this whole entire project time. <laughs> and I mean, I love it. It is a beautiful, beautiful, I mean, look at that. It is gorgeous. I don't know why I haven't used it. I need to place it on my desk so that when I'm getting ready for work, the people at work would probably have a cow and be like, why has she got on that bright red lipstick? We all in trouble. Huh. That's a good idea. I think maybe I'll wear that and see what happens. Maybe I can get some people hopping around. The next prompt is Peanuts, a product that is messy to use. And I picked this little seed farm is the name of the company jasmine and green tea deodorant cream it's made with organic ingredients and i really do like it but here's your little bitty popsicle stick that you used to put this on with so it is quite messy and i've only used it one time and I need to get on it because it's already starting to smell like, you know how oil after a while gets that 800 year old french fry smell? I need to, to start using it. 
Of course, in the top, you see that that's a different color than the gray beneath it. That was a little sample that I got. Maybe that's what's smelling bad. Maybe I need to take that off, but it is a nice product. I need to, to get on it because I put that in to finish. The next prompt is another round, an item you loved so much you bought it again or bought it for a friend. And I have bought this four or five times. This is the CoverGirl Simply Ageless Instant Wrinkle Blurring Pressed Powder. And it is in the shade 210 Classic Ivory. I have a backup waiting for me. And I put this in to finish, and I have already hit pan in it. I love it that much, y'all. I will use this as my foundation because it just, it is very blurring, and it just evens out my skin tone, and I love it. I love it, love it, love it. I highly, highly recommend. For the next prompt, we have... Dive Bar, Hole in the Wall, a product from a smaller or lesser known brand. So I picked this DD Signature Liquid Lipstick in Bold Sight. And I had this in for 15 uses, and I've only used it two times. And it's a really nice product, but I think that's a little too dark. For right now I'm not opposed to wearing that shade but this may have to wait until we start getting into the fall because to me that really is a fall shade the next prompt is happy hour an item you got on sale and so I picked this LYS cream bronzer because I did get this on sale and I love this bronzer love it it is so so nice i'm wearing it today this is in the shade harmony it's a very nice product and i have this in for 10 uses and i have used it six and i'm just going to kind of buff that out a little bit so you can see how nice that is beautiful product beautiful beautiful i love it even when I smear the lipstick in it, it's still nice. The next prompt is Mocktail, a dupe for a higher-end product, and that is credited to Helen Hirsch. And I picked the e.l.f. Halo Glow liquid filter. This is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury liquid filter. What is that called? Y'all know what I'm talking about. I put this in for 20 uses, and I have used it a total of five times. The next prompt, this is really nice, by the way. I do, I do enjoy that. The next prompt is drunk shopping, something you don't know what possessed you to buy. <laughs> so I picked this Milani Under Eye Brightener, Conceal and per Perfect in O2 Melon, and it is a nice product, but I I don't use under eye products very much because my under eyes are kind of crepey, and I don't want to accentuate all of that. Plus, I really don't have dark circles and, and all the things, but this is a very brightening product you can see right there. So I put this in. It is also very messy, as you can see. The, the tip of this, like, pops out, and it's hard to get it to pop back in. I mean, it'll go in, but when you squeeze on it, it just pops back out again. I put this in for 10 uses, and I have used it seven times. It is a nice product. I would not repurchase it just because I don't feel like that I need it. The next prompt is shot a sample size or single use item. And I rolled this in, I believe. Let's look and see, shall we? I rolled this in in November. 
Yes, I did. Rolled it in in November. And this is the Dino Dumped Dry Oil. And I am here to tell you, ah, uh, I have finally finished it. And it is phenomenal. This dry body oil is amazing. And the smell, it smelled so good. I don't know. It doesn't really say what the scent of it is. This is Copacetic Cosmetics, by the way. And, but it, it kind of smelled like a coffee, I don't know. It smelled so good. And it makes your skin so soft. I loved this. And now that it's gone, I might go to their website and buy a full size of this. I really did like it. And now that this is empty, like this is in a roller ball and I don't like roller balls so I think I'm going to put some of this in this and use this little spray bottle for that oil product. Nightcap is the next prompt, a product you use at night. And so I rolled in this green, green, Nive, green Nive. <laughs> it is 100% pure castor oil. It is cold pressed and hexen free. It's in an amber bottle. All the check boxes that should be checked. And I, it was full. I have used quite a bit of this. I have used it a total of 20 times. I use it at night. It's the very last thing I put on my face because I had been doing some research and there were so many people talking about what a phenomenal product castor oil is for your skin for and I, I knew that castor oil is supposed to help your eyelashes eyebrows hair and all of that stuff grow so I wanted to give it a test run and so far I'm really really liking it I can tell that my eyebrows, just after 20 uses, is starting to fill in, you know, from the 1980s, 1990s pencil-thin brows, and I had to pluck them all out. So I am enjoying this, and I do, when I put it on my face, even pull it up into my hairline because my hair here on the sides is starting to thin a little bit, and I believe that it's actually helping that, too. It makes your skin feel so soft. I really like it. The only thing I don't like is this bottle. I don't like the dropper. And I, I might buy another bottle, do something different. Because when you pull it out, you see how thick it is? If you touch that dropper along the rim of the bottle, it runs all down the outside of the bottle and then you've just got oil going everywhere. And so there's oil on the cap. I now have oil all over my hands. That's the only thing I don't like about it, but I love, love, love the product. I will definitely be purchasing that again when that one is gone. The next prompt is old-fashioned, an older item in your collection, and that is <laughs> my Gerard Cosmetics Eye Primer. I've had this in my collection for quite a while. I rolled this in to finish. I've used it 16 times. I've had it so long that the words on the label on the bottom are gone. I don't even know what shade this is because they have these in different shades. And I rolled that in to finish. Did I say that already? I don't know. Margarita is the next prompt. An item from a Latinx brand. And so I rolled in the Rare Beauty Foundation. This is in the shade 210N. And I have used this a whopping total of two times. I put it in uh, for a 10 usage goal. But I have windowing. I don't know how that happened, but that's quite exciting. The next prompt is garnish, an item you use as a topper, eyeshadow, blush, nail polish, that type of thing. And so I rolled in this Luxie, Luxie, Luxie eyeshadow. 
It is in the shade Nightfall, and I rolled this in for 10 uses, and I have used it a total of six times. <sighs> My camera's not focusing. Hello? 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 Oh, my Jesus. Oh, well, how long has that been out of focus? Look at how pretty this shadow is. It, that, that shadow is so soft. Let's just swatch that right there. Oh, my gosh. It is so pretty. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful shade. So I've used that six times. I have a usage goal of 10, so that's four more times I need to use that. The next prompt is wine, a red or white product. And for that prompt, I chose this Makeup Geek Stardust Eyeshadow because I use this as an inner corner highlight all the time and I also love to put it under my brow. I rolled this in for 10 uses and I have used it 16 because I love it. I love it and I'm going to be incredibly sad when it's gone because you know Makeup Geek went out of business. So that is rolling out. That's my second rollout so far. The next prompt is Mojito, something with a mint flavor, scent, or color. So I rolled in this Nomad shadow in Northern Lights. And this is from the Iceland Fire and Ice palette that I depotted. And I rolled this in for 10 uses, and sadly, I've only used it three. I don't know why that is, but that is a beautiful, beautiful shade. Look at how pretty that is. Those two go together very well. How springy is that? I just realized that. Very, very springy. So... I will, I should use those together. Maybe I'll do that this week. Let's see if I can't get those used up. And the last prompt is St. Patty's Day, a green or gold item, name packaging, product itself. And for that, I rolled in this ColourPop Lux Lip Oil. It is in the shade Emperor, and it is definitely gold shade and it is very nice. I've used it twice. I have it in for usage of 10 times. So that's my update for happy hour. I'm a little late but I got it in. Thank you so much for spending some of your time with me. Like I said all of the information about this fanning project along with all of the links will be listed down in the description box. And before you go, check all of that out. Make sure you show that like button some love. And as always, I'd like to remind you that makeup is meant to enhance the natural beauty that you already are. And we are all beautiful at any age or any size. Find something to be grateful for today. Pull your makeup out and play with it. And I will see you in my next video. Okay. Love you. Bye.